three things you should never keep in your bag, in your wallet, or in anything you keep money. Do not keep these three things in your bag. It drives away money. It drives away prosperity. It drives away abundance. So if you are used to this, stop it. Whether you are a man or a woman, you are a man. Don't put it in your shirt pockets or in your trouser pockets. Anywhere you keep money. Number one, condom. Yes. There are some guys, some ladies, if you check their bags, loss of condom. Loss of condom. It is wrong. Don't keep condom in your bag. All of these things are against the will of God. This can drive away words from you. What do you use condom for? For sex protection. And fornication is the same. And even if you are married, you use condom. It is still wrong to keep it in your bag. Remove it. All of this drives away words. The same bag that you keep condom, you keep your money. You keep your ATM card. How do you expect to get money? How do you expect things to work for you? That same bag. Where you keep your money matters a lot. Wherever you keep your money is very important. Don't joke with it. Keep it sacred. If you want money to come to you, don't keep condom. You are praying to God for abundance. You are praying to God for prosperity. You are praying to God for financial favor. You are praying to God for miracle. Yet, you keep condom in your bag. The same bag you keep money, your ATM card, all of these things related to cash, it drives away abundance. So if you have been doing it, stop doing it for money to flow to you. Whether you believe it or not, stop doing it. Except you don't keep money in that bag. I know you might tell me this man does it. Everybody is not the same. You don't have the same faith. So stop it. Another thing that should not be in your bag, no matter what, a vibrator. For women, there are some women that are promiscuous. They keep vibrator. I'm not here to explain what a vibrator is used for, but it is an abomination. A vibrator is an abomination. These are things against God. These are things against God. It is the same God that will give you money. The same God you are begging, oh Lord, bless me with money. Oh Lord, open my doors. Oh Lord, make things happen in my life. Oh Lord, I am tired of poverty. Oh Lord, have mercy upon me. And you also keep that vibrator in that bag. And you know that the main purpose of vibrator is for evil. For women who are sex-driven to do all sorts of rubbish. And you keep it in your handbag. Don't do it. Another thing you should never keep in your handbag, contraceptive. All of these drugs to prevent pregnancy, to remove pregnancy, remove it from your bag. These are evil things. It causes dry pockets. You use your money to buy rubbish. You keep in your bag. And you are praying to God for our borders. Don't you know that where you keep your money matter a lot? Even if you don't keep it in your bag, it is wrong to have it. It is wrong to use contraceptive. See, let me tell you. I'm not just talking about keeping in your bag. Using such things is a sin. You use contraceptive. Prevent pregnancy. That means you are still committing fornication. Or you are married. You don't do such things. Contraceptive is against the will of God. And you keeping it in your bag, in your purse, in your wallet, or wherever you keep money, even in your cupboard, is wrong. Not just in your bag. If you are the type that keep money in your cupboard, or your table, wherever you store money, wherever you have kept money, wherever you intend to keep money, don't keep these things. They drive away money from you. They are no God. They are no God. And finally, a bonus point. One thing you should never keep in your bag debit receipt bank debit receipt yes debit and debit debit means subtraction it causes subtraction of your finance it causes subtraction in your finance deduction anything like debit receipt remove from your back so you will stop losing money you will stop losing money 
At times, it can cause leaking pockets. You see yourself buying unnecessary things. Whenever I try this, I see myself buying unnecessary things, wasting money, losing money. When you bring that thing home, oh, I shouldn't have bought this. Did I buy this? Was I stupid? You just wasted money. At times, you don't even enjoy what you spend that money on. At times, you lose money. At times, you lose contracts. At times, you lose business. You lose patronage. You might not believe it, just that thing you kept in your bag. Devil can use anything against you. The world is wicked. Devil can use anything against you. And again, make sure your pocket, your purse, does not have hole. There are some people, there are some people, if you see their purse, their bag, lots of holes. This can also cause leaking pockets. Leaking pockets. Drainage in your finance. The reason why you lose money. Another reason why you can lose money. The devil can use this against you. The devil can use this against you. So be very mindful and careful. Make sure you take proper care of any place you keep your money. You understand? If you want money to come to you. To avoid losses and subtraction. Okay? Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe if you have not. Make sure the bell notification is turned on. Do well and give this video a thumbs up. Share with your friends. I will see you again. God bless you.